Cherry. What in the kid? You took a wrong turn on my thirty or something? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I ain't in there. They said they paid like six thousand dollars just for that door. I'm gonna. That, ours is just old. You know, we got a forty-year-old house. Do, I got their number. Whoever did it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's a security door. You know, the sides open up. You can, you can open okay. the sides. Yeah. It's got yeah, and you can see through them. They have, have curtains on the side of a really wide door. It's awesome. And and the metal work was extraordinary. I'm telling you, man, the thing to do that with the front door. Yeah, yeah, it is. That door is Where's Paul? Did Paul go there? Yeah. Now you can play lights out, man. Yes, he's really playing good. Well, him and Steve beat Paul and Joe. And then they just, oh, really? they just beat us. <laughs> In no time at all, they, they took care of him, put it quick, too. <laughs> Wasn't pretty. No, Rick and I were out here waiting to pay Paul and Joe. We thought, oh, we're just going to, so when they came out, we were waiting for Paul and Joe to come in, and here comes IU. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't mention they lost. It was crazy. Oh, see, you got the wall. You guys still going? I think I'm going to wrap it up. These two are done. done. Yeah. You see, though. You did it. Right? Yeah, we did. Lazy ass. Working too much? Yes. Doing lots of knees? Yes. Lots of stems out? Yeah. Uh, is that? We've seen about 85% success rate. Defined as. So typically it's stem cell treatment, just you don't need to add uh, plasma to a pink point to get our to concentrate on plasma. You can, uh, and there's some good studies coming out now showing that the plasma is going to stimulate uh, stem cells. <laughs>
take a couple tables. Uh, yeah, it's not enough really to make a uh, cosmetic difference. Oh, I thought maybe. So, um, the final product has probably got somewhere around a million, so. Do you spin it? How do you get them out? So, you, oh, you extract them with a big needle, right? And you, yeah. It's long. Yeah. That's pretty skinny. Yeah. So we take the fat and you inject it into this sterile canister. Yep. That's full of uh, salt water, saline. Yep. As it goes in, it goes through a microfilter which resizes the tissue. Okay. And once it's size, there's this metal ball bearing inside. Shake it like a martini. Okay. Wash away the blood, oils, and the numbing medicine that I injected. Yeah. And we support it out to the it has an even finer filter. Yeah. So you get down to about 500 micron size clumps of cells. And that's what you use for injection. And you put that in the syringe and. Yeah, the, the knee, the How long does that process take? Start to finish. about two hours. Wow. About two hour process in the office. My sister in law. My sister. Drive. I've got two sister in laws who need something to work. Really? Anyway, go ahead. Patients so, yeah. drive home. You're not going <coughs> to sleep. We just use local, local anesthetic only. You know? So, there's no general. Well, let me ask you this. Now, I don't know what, I, I've got a question. I know you're, you're like, please, it's idiots asking these questions. But my sister-in-law, I love her to death, and she can barely walk. She had uh, she had her knee scope, and it just didn't take. Right. She didn't rehab. She's a little overweight, and she didn't rehab. Right. She's losing all her weight. Oh. And she's got a little bit of extension, and she's kind of limping, and she's younger than me. What can she do? Can, is there any way that you can manipulate, just put her to sleep and manipulate? I don't know if it's cartilage or scar tissue. Depends on what's keeping the yeah. bending. Does he have, does he have, a, does he have a chunk of, does she have a meniscus tear that yeah, didn't yeah. get healed? Or is a new injury keeping her from flexing? Or does she have bone spurs that are keeping her from flexing? I gave you, Sarah, just, my wife gave her. Or is it just tightness from not doing rehab? Um, if there's nothing on MRI suggesting that she's got a big problem you know, bending it, then sometimes they will take them to the OR and put them to sleep, sleep and, and crank, or, you know, crank the knee. The problem is, the stiffness can come right back. Yeah. So you're better off, that kind of a deal, you're better off doing slow, sustained stretching over time. Uh, getting a device where you sit in the chair, you got a crank arm, and you put your foot on this pad and you crank, 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 and you gradually pull the knee closer yeah. and you've got to sit there for 30 minutes <laughs> with your knee under, you know, moderate stress. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm thinking prayer come along. Man, I mean, oh, when I rehab you, you this... you got to force it. Yeah. you got to, you know, no oh, injection yeah. is going to bring... That's what I told her. I told her. No injection is going to bring emotion back. You've got to go and get it. You get physical therapy, typically, if there's nothing blocking the motion. Okay. But an injection is not going to go magically make the knee move. Well, I'm going to try to get her to come see us and go from there. All right, man. So the, the first question is, what's causing the limitation? I mean, I'm not near a doctor, but I know rehab is important. Oh, I know that. Yeah, I, I yeah. thought there were two oh, of them. Yeah. I've had and back surgery, surgery and knee surgery. I told her that. She was yeah. asking a lot of times how bad it is. I said, it sucks. I said, but if you don't battle. do it, you're going to regret it. You don't do good rehab. You're That's exactly great. what I told her. I've got so many patients. I talk to them about rehab, they're like, what is that going to do? Therapy's not going to help me. I'm like, mm. she had a minor meniscus tear and some cartilage, and I bent this thing completely backwards, and you could do everything. It was just barely attached, and but I rehabbed it, and this is 30 years ago. I didn't know that I did it with a bag of pennies, you know. It was too strong. It just didn't last for so long. <laughs>